In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a new product from Nameless. Now, this is called the Nameless RCN47, and what we're going to be covering today is overall specs, flight performance, tune, execution, and some things you need to take note of here. Now, this thing comes in two flavors, one that comes with an HD camera and one comes with just a normal Cadex EOS 2 camera, which is the one I have today. Now, the overall weight is 44 grams with the propellers on, but without the battery included. And you also have many options for receivers from Spectrum to FlySky to FR Sky and even the TBS Crossfire Nano. However, with the FR Sky receiver, it is running D8, so D2. 16 will not work so if you have any of the newer access fr sky transmitters you will need a multi-protocol module because the receiver is not built in it's a separate cheap clone standalone type of receiver so keep that in mind now for the kv this thing is running it's actually the sweet spot or what i consider to be the sweet spot which is the 8000 kv anywhere between 7500 to 8000 kv is the best in my opinion and this is rocking the 8000 which gives you the flexibility between a 2s and a 3s and still enjoy it without risking burning the motors so in terms of flight characteristics it was okay now when we discuss the tune it doesn't feel like it's fully fully tuned however there was no bounce back no weird jitters but it just feels loose in the air it doesn't feel very locked in as others kind of like the geb rc skip hd which is the one i definitely recommend any day however i would say its tune is around 87 percent complete um, for the average person who doesn't really fly much, I don't think you would notice it. But for someone who flies many quads and, and tested a lot of things, you would tend to notice that. Now, in terms of performance, it was pretty good, pretty efficient. But then again, this is not really conclusive because of the weather. It was like negative 5 or minus 5, and it was just ice everywhere. So the batteries were cold as hell, and I couldn't really feel its full performance. However, what I could tell you is, under those conditions, it flew great and i was happy and i did have a lot of voltage sag here and there but again that's due to the weather and that's also happened to me with my bigger quads because lipos just don't work great in really cold weather now if you take a look at some of the flight footage since we have such a white area since everything is foggy we can see slight noise lines like vertical lines i'm pretty certain those are from slight noise um, however, it's not making its way down to the gyro, but I think if you were to purchase this and you wanted this to be your daily driver, I would definitely recommend adding a small 120 microfarad or 220 microfarad low ESR capacitor on the battery rails, which will increase the overall lifespan of the components on the boards here. Now, in terms of the video transmitter and the execution of the antennas and everything, it is absolutely spectacular, except one thing they didn't get right, which is an anti-slip battery pad on the bottom part of the frame. So I had to come up with one um, because it would just slip like crazy because also the battery strap isn't the best of battery straps so you might want to go ahead and pick a better one so that was the only thing in terms of execution it was missing now the overall tpu is really great really flexible takes a beating and i did crash it quite a lot however the most annoying thing about this quadcopter is when you purchase it when you want to go and bind it you're gonna have to remove the canopy there is no way to get to the receiver without removing the canopy so that was the most annoying part for me out of this whole thing. Also, if we discuss the motors, the motors don't seem to output the full 8000 kV. I think these are somewhat happy model, you know, rebranded or some racer star rebranded, but I'm, I'm pretty certain they're, they look more like happy model motors here. And um, you can easily swap these out for whatever you want. And they're using the four screws. They're not using the proprietary three screw thing. So they are using the proper four screws for any type of 11 
03 motor here. So that's something really great. And in the box, you absolutely get nothing except an extra battery strap. And that's about it. It just comes as is. And also the presentation wasn't as nice as I'd expect something from like Gib RC or iFlight. It was just in a regular brown box with just some foam around it. And it wasn't even cut out to its uh, size. But yeah, other than that, it's great. And well, everything's linked down below. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.